Welcome back. We are having some Tiki car problems. We were preparing the car for the Lemons Road Rally and we had a little issue to resolve. Bought some parts that didn't work. So we had to make them fit. And then we found out the rally was canceled anyway. So either way, we got to fix the car. So let's get started. Okay, I had the lower transmission line was so rusted that it started to leak. So I ordered a pair, upper and a lower, and went to replace them and found out that the lines were made improperly and they would not fit in the car. So sent an email, they gave me credit and they never even wanted the old parts back. So that tells me that they knew there was something wrong with these. So I was able to use the lower one already. And since I got the upper one for free also, I got free parts. So I love free stuff and making free stuff work makes me happy. So that's what I did. I'll show you what I'm gonna do now with the upper one since I have it. We need to get down to the transmission lines, which are under the air cleaner. A few bolts to pull out, 10 millimeter. We'll get them to tie you up and get you out of the way. Should be three 10 millimeter bolts. One of them is busted off down over there, so we only have two. Plug to unplug here, squeeze it, pop it off. The lower hose, the pipe rotted out right here and was leaking. The upper hose is leaking a little bit on where the lines are crimped. But the problem with this replacement was is this end is too big, it will not slide into the transmission. The fitting is a one way fitting, you pop it in and you need a little tool to pull it out to release it would not go in. So they had to have known this. That's why the price was cheap. So that's why they gave it to me for free because they didn't want it back. So took a hacksaw. I already made cuts in this one. I'm going to peel this back. I'm going to save as much of the hose that I can. I'm going to do the same to the factory end and I'm going to slide it on and attach it with some hose clamps fixed. So got the rusted end replaced. The end and the transmission and both of them are still good and free parts to repair your car. Here's where the lines go in. Here's the lower one here with the hose clamps on it. I've had it on there for about a week, working great. And I figured I might as well change the other one too. So the little push on clip is on there. I already released it. So you push that clip in and then you could slide the line out. I'll take this line off and we're gonna cut this off over here and save that pipe. We got two cuts in here. I would probably say about 90% through. Might go a little bit more. I don't want to try not to nick the hose. Try to open it like a can opener. Okay, here's the original one. Now we want to save this end, so I don't care if I cut the rubber hose on this now. And this is actually only crimped with aluminum, so it's actually a lot easier to slice through. Up. 
That's what we needed. So we got our new one here, or half of a new one, with a piece of an old one. We will slide this on, and we will clamp it. And we will clamp it twice, just to make sure. Overkill. Here's the end, and needs to be pushed into right down there. And if I could show you and do it at the same time, I don't think I can. Line it up and slide it in, and it will click into place. Okay, the line is clipped in. The other end over here is tightened up in the radiator right over there. If your issue is it's leaking at the fittings on the transmission, they are replaceable. They do also sell ones that you could put hose uh, is on with hose clamps and kind of either cut off the ends of your factory hoses on this end and just run all rubber lines. So that is another option. This worked very well for me because it was free. And if it's for free, it's for me. Okay, we're all ready to go, but we got no place to go. I even installed a new sound system in this thing. So, Tiki Car has to wait for its road rally debut. Thanks for watching.